Well, hello, my friends. My name is Wendy Sanford. I am the adult reference librarian at the Ringwood Public Library, and I invite you to this month's Mid-Month Make-Its with Wendy. Today, today we'll make um, CD mosaic vases, and I don't have one to show you because what we have to do is deconstruct real CDs and DVDs, and I just didn't want to waste so many. So we're going to be doing this project in real time, but I promise you edits. Let me ask you, how many of these have you thrown away in the past year? I know that I've recycled a ton of these. Well, I was looking at one and I said, what a shame to just put it in the recycle. Surely there's something that we can do with it. So I thought, well, you can paint it, use tape or whatever. I'm, I like the CD shine. I always liked shiny things. So I thought, let me see how we can use these CDs to, to, to look like mirrors and then we can put them on the, this container. Surely you could put it on any kind of container. Um, this I bought at the dollar store and I show you that I started to do it, but I'm going to stick with these containers. Now they do have um, writing on it. Um, if your paper comes off easily like this one did, this one just comes right off. Then you could start with a white background. But me, look at my apartment behind me, lots of teal. I am going to first sandpaper this down a little bit to be um, roughed up a bit so that it's going to hold my teal spray paint. And you can paint it or you could just leave it white. But me, I'm going to go outside now and I am going to spray paint my vase. Like the highly trained reference librarian that I am, I found at least two reputable sources that agreed that oil and baking soda gets spray paint off of your fingers. So I grabbed my Pam, grabbed the baking soda out of my freezer. Ta-da! Now we could get on with our craft. So while my teal disinfectant bottle is drying from the spray paint, let's talk about the CDs and the DVDs. Um, they're kind of thick. There's a front, there's a back. So the DVDs need to be split in half. And I'll show you how we can do that. Um, it's not the easiest of processes, but we will get through it. Um, the DVDs I find are the easiest ones to cut in half, which then make it easier to cut into strips. CDs, I, I, can't, I can't get these cut correctly. I can't split them in half. I can't get them to cut without lots of lines. Um, I'm very disappointed about that because some come in this very teal color and I wanted to use them real bad for my, my vase, but I'm, I'm not going to use any CDs. But here's an old CD-ROM that's kind of purplish, so it's a CD-ROM. So we're going to use DVDs and I'm going to use CD-ROMs as well. And I'm going to get it set up so that we can split these right in half, hopefully easily. What is the secret of splitting a DVD in half? The answer is heat. Therefore, 
I'm getting my craft blow dryer. This is not my hair dryer because my hair dries in about three and a half minutes. So this is my craft hair dryer. We're going to turn it on high and we're going to give it 10 rotations around. CD is very, very hot right now. I'm going to take very sharp scissors. I'm just going to give it a little, a little snip. And hopefully, we'll be able to feel And there it is. Can you see that it's splitting? So I'm just going to work my way around the entire top. It's splitting just with my long fingernail. You certainly don't have to use your fingernails butter knife, the scissor. I just wanted to get that started because then I am going to take the scissor and insert it more deeply and just work my way around. Okay, now that it's open, You might get some of this the clear part. That's okay. As long as you're mostly getting it on to the part with the writing. And if you have a problem, just spray it with the with the blow dryer again. This is the finished product. You see some of it came off. Right? But that's okay. So cutting into the box so that all the pieces will get captured in the box. So first I'm just trimming the CD, taking the pieces that I want, discarding the rest. The round surfaces, I'm just going to cut them into a straight line. get them out of here right away so they don't get stuck and then this is what we have left with to make pieces so we just cut to random pieces keep cutting and one more so that this is what we have to work with. So I'm just going to keep on cutting my my the rest of this DVD, and then I'm going to blow dry the rest of the DVDs and the CD-ROMs, and do some cutting, and then we'll be back to start the gluing. So I successfully managed to chop up five DVDs. Um, I cut them into the little squares. Uh, they look like this. Okay. I don't know if five DVDs are going to be enough, but I'll certainly get a start on that and we'll, I'll let you know how many more is needed for a size this big. As for the CD-ROMs, they did not successfully all chop up for me. Uh, when I separated them, the silver stayed on the other side of the of the, the disc, but I did get to have one, so I have one purple, um, and I made them into the little mosaics. And I believe that what I'm going to do is make one 
one line of the purple mosaics and then the silver would be down here and up here. Um, so actually that's what I'm going to start with first is here. Uh, probably logically I should start from the bottom and work my way up but I do want this line to be pretty straight so I think I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start with the line in the middle. There were so many glues to choose from. Uh, I hope that I'm picking the right one. I'm working with my good old Mod Podge again. Um, I love this. It, it, it dries so clear. So hopefully this is going to be strong enough to hold the CD, DVD mosaics. Um, so what we're going to do, because I'm going to start with the purple in the middle, I'm going to take my brush filled with the Mod Podge and I'm going to put it in the center. See that? Oh, putting lots of the Mod Podge on. And I don't want to do too much right now, but let me show you. Okay. Began the purple over here. Got it to about here so far. So I do have enough to finish one line. Um, I'm putting them as close as possible, but I'm hoping that if there are spaces in between, it's going to dry teal and it'll look like teal grout. We'll see how we're doing. Um, let me finish up the purple line and then we'll get started with the bottom lines. Halfway there. So here it is and I'm looking at the rim and I believe that what I'm going to do with the rim is I'm going to use the, um, the Mardi Gras beads that you get at the dollar store and uh, glue them around the rim. That is the, these things that you get. And I'm going to pick the silver ones and I'm going to glue them around the rim. I, I hope that that's the wise decision. Um, so I'm going to do that now. I'll be right back. I'm going to call this project a success. I'm going to move over to my left and under the clock right here you'll see the finished product right there already in my living room. And finished product. I love how it sparkles when the light hits it. And the CD-ROMs in the middle was a successful touch. And along the top are the Mardi Gras beads. And this is the finished product. When you make yours, you can make your background white, you make it black, any color. I'm very happy with my teal because it will look very nice in my living room. So I thank you very much for sticking with me on our CD, DVD, Mosaic Vase. Um, I sure hope that you'll join me next month. The date is April 14th and I will see you for my next Mid-month makeets with Wendy.
Meanwhile, continue to be safe and be well. And definitely, we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.